Hi guys, this is Kenya. Welcome back to Kenya's Decor Corner. So today I'm so excited because I'm going to be sharing with you guys a drink that I um, have been drinking for a little while now. And um, so yeah, I thought I'd share it with you guys. I thought you might be interested. And it is, I've been drinking turmeric. So, oh, it will help if I <laughs> showed you guys the right side, or I guess it doesn't matter either side. But this is a large container of turmeric that I picked up from Costco. It's 12 ounces, and I think it was like $8, which is a great price. Um, maybe it was $10, but um, I was buying turmeric at my local grocery store for maybe, maybe two or three ounces for like $5. So to get 12 ounces for 10 was a great buy. And this turmeric is, um, I'm just making sure it says store away from direct sunlight in a cool, dry area. So I keep it stored in my cabinets here, right up here with all my other vitamins and supplements and things like that. And so it says ground turmeric is part of the ginger family. It's warm, earthy flavor makes, makes it ideal for Indian cooking, including lentils, rice, dishes, and more. So you can use um, turmeric to season your food but for me, I use turmeric to make, I have this mix here, I make turmeric milk. So it's called golden milk. Some people call it turmeric milk. I usually call it turmeric milk, but you can also call it golden milk. Um, and so the benefits of turmeric are enormous, guys. I mean, enormous. There's so, so, so many benefits of turmeric um, to have it in your diet. And I should say some people pronounce it turmeric, I used to say turmeric, so I think it's like tomato, tomato, you know, either way is probably correct. Um, but it is a root uh, that is grown, and so they ground it up, you can buy it as a root or generally as powder. I have bought the roots at the grocery store and like the whole food store, um, and I like the powder better because it's easier to use in a multiple ways. So, um, but part of the benefits of turmeric is it's an anti-inflammatory. It helps to um, help the functioning of your liver, of your kidneys. It's been said, I don't know this to be a fact, but it's been said that it can help prevent or, re or I don't know if I should say reduce, but cancer, certain types of cancer. Um, so, but the benefits go on and on and on. So it's like to your benefit <laughs> to add turmeric to your diet. And so I learned about it maybe about a year ago, well, maybe about six or eight months ago. And I started drinking it at first, and I will say it is an acquired taste. So this might not be for everyone, but the way I fix it up is not bad. And my husband, at first, he was like, oh my God, we gotta drink this. <laughs> but um, after a few minutes of drinking it, then it's like, oh, okay, okay, okay. And by the time you're done with the cup, it's fine. And really for me, I've kind of grown to expect to have it every day. So it went from, oh, I don't know about this, to oh, I gotta have my turmeric milk tonight. So I generally drink this mixture at night when I do it with milk, but I can also mix it with water and make like a turmeric tea. So uh, also I should mention that turmeric does aid in weight loss, at least that's what it said. I'm not drinking it for that reason, but I'm just drinking it for like all the benefits. So in my mix here, and I have this mixed up like this, so that every time I'm ready to use it, I don't have to go to my large container and scoop it out, I have it scooped in here. So one thing about turmeric, it has curcumin in it, which is the agent that really is beneficial to you. If you have aches when you're moving your muscles, it helps with that, just so good. But in order to reap the benefits of curcumin, you have to add black pepper to your turmeric in order to for your body to absorb the curcumin. So if you're eating turmeric or if you're drinking turmeric without adding black pepper, then you're just enjoying the flavor of the turmeric, but you're not getting the real benefits of it. So if you want to reap the benefits of turmeric, be sure to add black pepper with it. So if you do in like, so I like to mix it up in one so I have everything together instead of doing like one teaspoon of turmeric with a third teaspoon of black pepper. But if you wanted to do it individually like that, you certainly can. I did also add ginger to my mix because ginger is in the same family with turmeric. And so 
There's lots of health benefits for ginger also. And so there are tablets that you can take if you wanted to buy tablets, but most tablets have bulking agents and other things in there that's like not necessary for you to take. So I prefer to just have the powder is 100% organic, pure turmeric, that's it. And so you're not getting all the extra junk if you take tablets. So anyway, with that being said, all the benefits of turmeric I will have listed in the description box down below, guys, so you can kind of look through and see. And I will have a link there if you're interested in going and checking out uh, more information on turmeric. So anyway, I wanted to share that with you guys. So, so let's get into making this turmeric milk or golden milk. So in a small saucepan, you will add one cup of unsweetened almond milk. Now we'll add one teaspoon of my turmeric mix, and then I'll mix it in a little bit just so it'll get mixed into the milk well. Then afterwards, I will allow it to simmer on medium to low heat. And once it starts to bubble like that, then you turn off the fire because you do not want it to overflow. Now we will strain out the milk I'm using a little strainer that I just picked up from the dollar store over a regular coffee mug. Okay, now I'm gonna pour my milk into this cute little milk frother. So this is the base for it and I have it plugged into the electrical outlet. So this just clicks right onto place. Okay, there we go, there's a click. <laughs> Okay, so um, now I'll just pour my turmeric milk into here. I'm going to froth it up. I'd like to have it very frothy. So inside this, I should show you guys first that um, there's a little um, piece here that is the milk frother. And they also send you one, this one like this, is if you just wanted to heat up your milk. You use this little piece here or if you wanted to froth the milk, you use this one. These are extras that they sent. This is the clear lid that I will put on top. So, um, so let me move this a bit closer. You guys can see the fill line in here. So there is a minimum amount that you need to have in and then a, a max amount. I should also mention that this little guy is, I just wanna make sure that I go, do not go over the max line and I'm not. So I'll just stop there. So this little guy is 120 volts and 500 watts. Um, it, like I said, both heats the milk and it will froth cold milk as well. And the dimensions are 4.5 by 6.9 by 8.0 inches. And it's 1.8 pounds. So super light, very portable. So I'm just gonna put the lid on here. And because my milk is already hot, I'm not going to do the heat setting. I'm going to um, just froth it. So I'll slide this back here a bit. The heat is this one with the little wavy lines and then with they have a little snowflakes for like cold milk. So you would just froth cold milk. So I'll make sure that's on there and I'm just gonna click this button so it's blue and we hear it going and this will take a minute or so so I'll be back in just a bit this product is the Hayden Eon automatic electronic milk frother model number N11 so it's super cute very easy to use and I'm excited about it and it is done frothing my milk I'm gonna slide it back here so you guys can see so yeah it was really quick it was really like a minute <laughs> so I have my cup here with my honey in the bottom so I'm just gonna remove the lid oh I can see all the bubbles look at that -hoo -hoo. this is going to be awesome so I'll just pour it right into my cup Fantastic. So it's always nice to, you know, make things a little more fun. So this is something that I am going to be drinking. So I just thought, why not make it, you know, fun? 
So having this milk frother will be um, a great addition for our family because you guys know I have my little guy and he loves hot cocoa. So um, once we get through this summer, this winter, we will definitely be making plenty of hot cocoa, frothing up our milk, making it warm and serving it with lots of marshmallows. So you guys will see this again uh, at that time, but I wanted to share with you guys how I make my turmeric milk or golden milk and using my milk frother. Okay, you guys, so I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If so, be sure to go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And also, if you're new here, welcome. I'm so, so happy to have you here. I hope that you will go ahead and click the subscribe button and also be sure to hit the notification bell. And for my favorite family members, you guys know I love you so much. So I hope that you all have learned a little bit of something about turmeric and the benefits um, thereof. And I will have more listed in the description box down below. Also, if you guys like my cute little milk frother, I will have details regarding this item in my description box as well. This is very affordable, guys, and super cute. I just love the design of it. It goes well with my decor. And so, yeah, um, and it'll be great if you have kids or if you just like your coffee, the milk in your coffee frothy, if you want to make espressos, etc. So, yeah. Alrighty guys, well thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing all of you on the next video. Much love and many blessings. Bye bye!